Well, I'd like to introduce to you a new book entitled Bible Reflections from a Life Devoted to the Poor by Dr. Jemba Tefra. She devoted most of her life to working tirelessly amongst the poorest of the poor in her own country of Ethiopia, despite facing enormous challenges in her own personal life. These are three of the booklets which she published over the years, and she was a prolific author and writer of Bible studies. Here are some of those which were published over a period of several years. And these writings, along with various other sources, have been compiled into a new book. The book starts with a glowing tribute and summary of Jemba's life by her son, Workner. The book is divided up into six sections, as you can see here, early life, prison years, urban development project, for which she's most well known, family life and bereavement, seasonal and other reflections, and finally, a farewell. Here's an impression of Jemba's early years as she studied at Clarendon School in North Wales. She then went on to train as a nurse in Manchester. Her Ethiopian Orthodox faith in Christ was very important to her. During the communist revolution in the mid seventies, Jemba's family suffered greatly. Her husband was thrown into prison and she herself was locked away in a separate women's prison for several years. She and her husband were political prisoners. During that time, God spoke deeply into her heart and she developed a real sense of calling for the urban poor. Jemba, with support of various other Christians and a lot of money from overseas donors, was able to develop a three-point action plan, community development, physical upgrading of the buildings, income generating projects. And all the time she and her colleagues were coordinating quite a complex activity for some 30,000 urban slum dwellers. One of Jemba's greatest achievements with help from Dr. Ray Backey from Seattle was to establish a Institute for Urban Workers where uh, young people in particular could learn new skills that they could apply to caring for the poor in their own city of Addis Ababa and elsewhere. Here's quite a happy picture taken in the early 90s with uh, her husband, Haile Georgis, Jemba over on the left, Sheila Johnson, who has edited this work over a period of several years, and Arthur Champion, who helped to compile uh, the photographs and provided some of the structure to the content. Then I broke down again and wept. I have wept many times since for my loved ones when they die, but Jesus also wept. As I discussed with my fellow prisoners, our Lord is not stony hearted. He sympathises and empathises. We do not question his authority to take life, but he started in the morning for his friend Lazarus and comforted Mary and Martha. Then he prayed for Lazarus to be raised from the dead. Sheila happened to meet Lem Sissi, uh, who has an Ethiopian background, and he has kindly endorsed the book. Proceeds from the book are going to be split equally between the Biran College and the TESPA Sponsorship Trust, which cares for street children, gives them an education and basic provisions. Here's uh, some information about how the book can be obtained by placing your order with Sheila Johnson. The same information will be available in the description to this video. I very much hope you'll buy a copy and be inspired.